Hello, this is Mrs. Page. I'm going to give you a quick tour of Pebble Go and show you how to get access to it. Ideally, you'll do this from your Clever homepage and your school, and you can scroll down until you get to the title Information Resources, and you'll see two important links. This one will take you directly to Pebble Go, but first you need to know your school's username. So you'll click on this and it'll open up a page. You are going to search for your specific school and make sure that you grab that username and you can copy it. And then we'll go back over here to PebbleGo and you can just type in or paste that username and the password for all of our schools is school. So the only thing that's different is the username. So once you click on that, you are in now in Pebble Go and you will see that there are five different very gen generic broad topics. And every time you click on something, it's gonna narrow it down more specific. All of these topics and everything is available always in Spanish. So if you need it in Spanish, you can just click the Spanish version. So once you click on a topic, it will then give you more options. And every time I scroll my cursor over something else, it will read it. Animal out. classification. <clears throat> so once you get in animal mammals specific, it will keep getting more and more specific. So now you can get Mice. specific animals. And once you click on it, this is what an article will look like. And so it starts with generic and you have these tabs up here which really guide your research and information. And then there's a read more, so other articles that are kind of related. And you'll notice that I've got this breadcrumb trail of everything that I clicked on. So if I want to just go Woodland back mammals. to mammals, I can click up there and search more. Or if I want to go back to mammals, I can do that as well. If you are looking for something specific and not just browsing, you can type in your search right here and it will give you some options. You need to click on one of these if this is what you were looking for and uh, it will give you the breadcrumb US symbols here and um, this is what does it mean? Who chose it? And in this case, this was the eagle and, and US symbols symbols and talking about it in response to what what the symbol is to our nation. Um, so down here, this is a citation tool where we can always never too early to teach kids that we need to cite our sources and it'll just allow them to copy and paste it in whatever work they are doing. This one allows it to print out in an article form and sometimes there's activities attached to it and there's usually videos of some sort that kids can view as well. So this is Pebble Go, pretty easy, very accessible, and the read aloud feature is available on everything. So it's accessible to all our non-readers and it's an actual human voice reading the words out loud. And it's really up to date, uh, has recent articles. They're always updating their d database. Please reach out to me if you have any questions on this resource. I'm happy to support you.